The museum exhibition was conceived as a view of the past of the Pelinia area, shown through a large zoom lens. The wide panoramic landscape, including part of the highlands, gradually narrows down to the settlement structure of the valley and to the municipium of Sumo, and then goes on to a closer look at the ancient city to finally end up with a visit to the remains of a single domus. The finds on display date back to a chronological span that ranges from Paleolithic to Neolithic, from the Bronze and Iron Ages to the Italic and Late Republican periods. The oldest pieces come from prehistoric villages and were found in the various locations from the Sulmona Basin and the neighboring highlands. For example, the Morone Highlands, located to the east of the city in the Maiella National Park, proved to be places of considerable historical and archaeological importance. Several rock paintings, generally ascribed to the Bronze and Iron Ages, but possibly referring to earlier times, were discovered both above the hermitage of Sant'Onofrio and in the area of Balze del Morone in Pacentro. Artifacts from the Copper Age and final Bronze and Iron Age were found in the s The various finds from Calilungo di Prezza are also of great interest. They consist of impasto ceramics decorated with lines, dots and parallel strokes and date back from the Neolithic to the Bronze Age. The great variety of archaeological materials pertaining to the Polinian graveyards of the Hellenistic period, which were excavated and documented in Anversa degli Abruzzi, in the areas of Cava di Brescia, Cocitelli and Fonte Cuzio, denotes a great level of wealth and the existence of trading with other populations between the 4th and 2nd centuries BC. To the south of the city, on the hills of Colle Mitra, the substantial remains of polygonal walls still testify together with vast graveyards, the presence of one of the most important fortified settlements of the Apennine Ridge. People of the past settled here before converging downstream and establishing themselves on the upland plain, which was well protected from the erosion activity of the valley by the Gizio River and the Vela stream. The visitor route can be enjoyed in two different ways. The first one, which is organized along the display cases and panels on the left, is faster, as it allows to skim the exhibits and have a general understanding of the major historical phases. The second is more focused on the classification and context of origin and is arranged in the areas behind the display cases.